Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Marcin Gosiewski, as I already told. Uh, I'm from Poland. Pozdrawiam tutaj wszystkich, którzy z Polski mnie słuchają. Okay, this was a call for mama. Uh, what I will be talking about is just environment and industrial monitoring using uh, special hardware. The, the main case is that with a help, with, with a little help of innovative thinking, we can deploy Zabbix into places where it was not meant to, or our imagination didn't go that far. Also, we can extend existing IT infrastructure monitoring to things we really need to be included in Zabbix, but they are not because they are not on TCP IP network. So what I mean, server room monitoring, like Havoc, energy, and everything which is needed, like environment and industrial monitoring, like temperature, pressure, humidity, level of gases, like atmospheric level, uh, liquid of tank, uh, level of liquid in tanks, all the IoT monitoring. IoT is more and more important, and there are more and more things connected via IoT, which we have to monitor. Some of them have ITCP IP, and many of them know. And some of them have TCP IP, but we want to know externally if they're doing their job. Energetic system monitoring. For more and more server rooms, we have to monitor more and more parameters from energetic network how the power is delivered, all these kinds of stuff. And also, human workflow monitoring. What people are doing, how they are interacting with devices, how they are interacting with machines, and all this kind of stuff which can be related to other things that we are currently monitoring. For instance, productivity on factory. We can monitor them. For instance, we can monitor workflow in insurance company. We can generate data which is based on how many cases at which stage are inside the insurance company's system. And raise alarms whenever the employee goes to, I don't know, a leave absence or goes to a Zabbix conference and don't leave anybody this job to be done and the stockpile at some stage rises. Server room monitoring. I already told you what we have to do to root cause the things. OK, we have a failure. What is the root cause? The root cause sometimes can be, from the Zabbix perspective, switch stopped working. From our perspective, the real root cause is water on the floor which killed that router. Is temperature which exceeded some parameters, is lack of energy or bad quality of energy which is killing the servers. We, this is the real root cause. Fire system has done something with our system. So, okay, we see very generic failure of many devices and we don't know why it happened, because the fire alarm was triggered. Air conditioning state, of course. Most of air conditioning systems have TCP IP, but there are situations where redundant AC switching from A to B claims it has switched, but it didn't. Both are off. This is a real situation from, I don't know, three months ago. <laughs> IBM was <laughs> guilt, uh, not guilty, but okay. They gave to this company a mainframe for testing, and this mainframe evaporated. <laughs> so the cost can be, can be really huge. Uh, so we mean to need to monitor real state of those devices. We, sometimes the root cause of problems is human presence. So if we can correlate some failures with the presence of human, of some cabinet being open, then we can have much more visibility what is really going on in the system. So what have we do? Uh, what do we have to do? We have to do connect somehow this external world to Zabbix. And that's why we have invented uh, a special system which is manufactured in Europe by Befa Grupa, 
which is adding the whole non-IT environmental monitoring capabilities to Zabbix. It's allowing to connect sensors, machines, digital inputs, everything to Zabbix. Of course, you can do this using PLC controller, then Moxa device converting from Modbus to TCP, and then the whole chain. But I will tell you in a moment what are the drawbacks of this, what are the problems with this approach. What we wanted to do is to design something completely with Zabbix in mind. We've done it to, my, to ourselves first, now we are selling it from, for some time already. Why we did it? Because we didn't want problems which are caused by this traditional approach. So this is an example board. So it has ma many, there are several types of boards. This is just an example board. It has a lot of connectors for thermometers, for digital inputs, for humidity sensors, specialty humidity sensors. It has expansion capabilities. You can add another boards to collect another sensors. There are some special industrial needs. For instance, okay, the, 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 the ability to trigger something, the ability to show Zabbix alarm as the light on the device, for instance. Because when we are troubleshooting, okay, what really happens, where is this part which fails? Sometimes we need some feedback when we are going to the machine where it really has, where it really is. It has both Wi-Fi or wired connection. Of course, it can be compiled, the firmware can be compiled so that it's completely isolated from Wi-Fi or completely isolated from network. It is very secure. No firmware update on the fly possible, et cetera, et cetera. So, so this is, these are devices which are completely secure, robust, industrial grade, and designed with Zabbix in mind. What is important, first of all, we are trying to simplify the whole chain. So there is auto-discovery everywhere. So the connected sensors are auto-discovered by the device, and also Zabbix is auto-discovering connected sensors to the devices. So this whole change is completely automatic. The configuration for Zabbix is very simple. First, we have to install this device, then connect the sensors, and then perform very, very basic configuration via web interface. The device will discover its expansion cards, all the sensors, as you see, will give the status of the sensors, and then what we have to do. We have to do one very important thing. We have to just name physically Okay, what this sensor is really measuring. How it's done? Usually the technician takes the mobile phone, goes to the temperature sensor, holds it in his hand, looks which is showing 30 degrees, then gives descriptive name, okay, this sensor is measuring this. And this is the place where the truth about the sensors is kept. And then this truth about the sensor is passed automatically to Zabbix. Now, what we have to do on the Zabbix side? Very simple. Install the template. Then add hosts. We don't use the port. You do just have to give the IP, name, IP address. <clears throat> and that's really it. If you, if you just don't forget to link the template. So this is really everything you have to do to configure the sensors. And the whole chain between your sensor and item in Zabbix. Then you have to just wait for auto-discovery. When all the devices are discovered, sensors, then you have already correct names, correct descriptions, in. Zabbix. You just have to tag them or do whatever you want, but you have the whole chain closed. Why choose this solution? This is the solution which is with Zabbix 
from the design stage. So we have designed it so that it, the, the, the Zabbix process will be flawless. So that people knowing Zabbix, but not knowing automation systems, can install it and configure it. So that the, no technical knowledge of Modbus protocol, PSC controllers, or whatever is needed. So it's, it's very simple. Uh, there are several expansion boards, so this is very, really flexible. It's working in the industry, in the, in the server rooms, in many different places. It's very serviceable. We wanted to make it really serviceable. So there are all the schematics, application binaries avail available for external repair personnel. We also start to design the boards that way that are all the is descriptions of all the parts to repair it on the boards themselves. So we're trying to make it as easily serviceable as, as possible. Customizable, because we are owner of the schematics, we are owners of the firmware, so we can do even custom solutions. And some companies are ordering custom solutions. Like for instance, I don't know, for, for, for Post, which, is, which has the sorting machines and you want to monitor some special parameters like vibration, etc., or whatever, or for instance, the flow of the packages which are sorted by the sorters. And what is really important is that it's self-documented. The hardware ecosystem consists of several versions. If you want, I have them here. If somebody wants to, is a geek, geeky enough to want to see them, I have them. I can explain everything. Uh, there is a large, which all the connections made uh, version for the rather for the industry, which is usually installed in industrial applications, and one smaller designed for server rooms. So we have just enough stuff to monitor a cabinet or a server room or something like this. You have just four input digital inputs, forty or thirty thermometers, and that kind of stuff. Everything is, uh, there, are, there are several power options, etc., etc. I will not just waste your time on this. There are several expansion boards, as I said. Analog, digital, 4 to 20 milliampere, volts, etc., etc., whatever you, 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 you wish. The self-documenting feature is very, very important, because normally, if you have a chain, you are installing a sensor, then you are connecting it to the PLC device. Then you're connecting the PLC device to MOXA, IP gateway. Then you are installing the driver because MOXAs have RTO over TCP, which is not an official standard because official standard is mode-based TCP. So you have to install another driver in the Linux, which is, transfer, is translating the IP address to specific virtual serial port. And then in Zabbix, you have Modbus get. And you have to enter those parameters, which are configured on every level. In any Technician will replace any part from the top to the bottom, you are lost. And if this competition is coming to your server room to, to replace it, and if it doesn't have documentation, and this is completely normal for companies to not have documentation, even large companies. You are going to the cabinet, you don't know how the PLC is programmed, what are the addresses, what are the slaves, what are the port numbers, etc. What is worse, there is really no way on any chain that any device will try even to help you with getting knowledge what is on which level. So we are trying to eliminate all this pain to create something that you plug in and it works. Some usage scenarios. Server room monitoring, I already told you. Temperature, humidity, state of havoc, all this kind of stuff. Industrial and environmental, like all kinds of industrial sensors, monitoring machines, vibration, etc., etc., buildings all this kind of stuff. 
For instance, industrial paints factory producing very, very fast uh, the paints which are used for packaging, which has to be ready from the painting until the package, something is packed within two, three seconds. Very, very strict environmental rules. There are several data collectors there in several buildings. There is a central appliance, etc., etc., and several types of sensors. There is a Zabbix dashboard for this, in this, in this in the, uh, in, which is showing the state of the whole system, where all people can see the correlation between, I don't know, low temperature outside plus low pressure in the heating system plus uh, temperature in the heating system. It should the alarm raise alarm or not. Uh, items from auto discovery, everything very simple. Energy monitoring, critical infrastructure organization in Poland, couple of server rooms, separate buildings, two independent power sources, 15,000 volts. Zabbix used for monitoring all the critical environment, uh, environment parameters. Uh, there are hundreds of parameters measured only for the electric current. Quality parameters, availability, uh, which path the current is going through all kinds of redundancy stuff, etc., etc. Fifteen devices from us, 40 other devices, also the Modbus and some other stuff, and this is the building the whole system, which is gathering the data. Large existing infrastructure, heavy stuff, we had to do our own, uh, let's say, some more industrial <laughs> graphics for maps, and it's working. Human behavior, packaging production factory. Employees are coming to the machine. We are detecting presence. Then they are picking tools. We are detecting if they are picking tools, which tools are picked. Being clever, you can know everything, how efficient they are, how fast they are working, and all the kind of stuff. You can raise alert where, for instance, there is, I don't know, one of the tools not used for some time or something like this, or if they use it in the wrong direction or wrong order. Any questions? Yeah, we have one.